Hi there, God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a great honor right here. It's always a great privilege in the presence of the Lord whenever we are giving prophetic messages. God says what you did was wrong, but your intentions were good. What you did was wrong, but your intentions were good. It's one thing to have good intentions and it's another thing to do the right thing. And as far as God is concerned, what he requires of you to do is the right thing. God delights more in obedience. And partial obedience to God is still disobedience. When God tells you to do something and you do it partially, you have disobeyed him. God is more interested in your obedience. Why? Because obedience forms you. It gets you to go out of yourself. It gets you to do what you you naturally would not do. And so God is more interested in your obedience than in your good intentions. For some reason, God has been speaking speaking to me a lot today about Saul. Now, there were two instances where you notice Saul had... I don't want to call it the spirit of disobedience, but there was something in him that could not follow instructions. There was there was something in him. He always found a reason to disobey God. He always found a reason. The first instance is when they, they, they had a battle to fight and they were waiting for Saul, to, for the prophet Samuel to come offer sacrifice to God so that they would have favor before the eyes of God for their battle. And Samuel wasted time in coming. And while he wasted time, Saul went ahead and did the sacrifice, even though he was not supposed to. And God, when when the prophet Samuel came, he asked him, what have you done? Why did you do the sacrifice? And he said, I was pressured. So you know, people who always disobey, they have a reason why they do everything they do. He said, I was pressured. The people had fled. My people had fled and they were going away and leaving me. And so I was pressured to perform the sacrifice. And that was the first time God told him, because of this, I'm going to remove you from the throne and I will give the throne to your neighbor. I will scatter your inheritance. I will scatter your, you will not be remembered. I will scatter your inheritance for what you have done. God was very angry. But apparently Saul did not get the memo. Apparently he did not get it. Another time, They were about to fight another enemy of Israel. And God gave a specific instruction. I think they were the Amalekites. And God gave a specific instruction. Do not take any spoils. Kill everyone. Man, human being, animal, everything. And destroy the spoils. Don't take anything with you. But guess what? He went killed every man and woman and children and captured the king. I think it's the king Agat captured him and took the best of the spoils. He came and when Prophet Samuel asked him, why did you do that? He said he wanted to sacrifice it to God. He wanted to offer it to God. His intentions were good, but he he disobeyed God. God does not delight in our burnt offerings. God does not delight in our burnt offerings. God delights in our obedience. He delights more in our obedience. God does not feed on our burnt offerings. God is happy when he tells you to do something and you do it exactly how he told you to do. Your intentions, Saul's intentions were good. He he was doing it because he wanted to, he says he wanted to offer it to God. But God is not after burnt offerings. God is interested in our obedience. He is interested because why is God so interested in our obedience? Because he's trying to get you to a place where you kill self, where you die to yourself, and where you are only alive to God. You are only alive to do the will of God. You are only alive to do the dictates of the one who sent you. That is why he says, Obedience is better than sacrifice. And partial obedience is still disobedience. Yes, Saul killed everybody in the land. Both men, children, 
women and all the animals and cattle. But he disobeyed partially. And partial disobedience or partial obedience is still disobedience. I pray that God is going to help you. Even though your motives are right, but you will equally accompany those motives with right actions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.